So comment, subscribe, dislike, or like. Check out the links in the descriptions for other of my um, sites, other activities that I'm involved in. Got a whole bunch of Facebook groups you can check out. I play multiple card games, so I do music among other things, so check out the links in the description. Green is good. So there's this thing going around with people saying that the green is bad. There's no good uh, cards in green, even though there's tons of good cards in green. A lot of them are older, um, obviously. It's just a lot of people like using a lot of the same green cards, so it feels like there isn't much other options out there. But there's tons of other options. You just got to look. I mean, they printed tons of green cards. No way that none of them are playable, right? None of them have some type of use, you know. They, for example, this Vegeta alone, just this Vegeta alone, being a, <laughs> being a 20k dual attack that you can play just for two energies. Even though it's a 3-drop, you can play for two energies. You know how you play it? Your combo. Auto, if your leader card is green, right? They're playing a green leader, right? You have three or more energy. At the end of the battle, with this, the, um, which this card was used in a combo from your hand, play this card from your drop area, right? So you pay to get the 10k boost, and then you could play this card. And it's a 20k dual attack, so you get two attacks out of it, right? That's two potential damage right there. That's definitely going to uh, apply pressure to your opponent and force them to have to try to out combo more than once, right? Then. And of course, it helps with the fact that it's a dual attack. Means that if they negate your your first attack with it, you have a second one. So it helps you burn out negates, right? And then second auto. Once per turn, when this card attacks and KOs an opponent's battle card, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and discards it. So you could deliberately attack my opponent's battle card just to get it off the board, causing your opponent to lose a card from their hand in the process. And since you have a secondary attack, attack with a second attack to your opponent's leader, right? And apply pressure. And you could do this for two energy. Granted, you have to have three or more energy when you, when you try to play this, but hey, it's the green version of uh, RX Rage Warcry. So that's noteworthy. Um, we have damage negation, which negate for one energy, negate an attack, and you don't take damage from your opponent's non-keyword skills for the turn. So this is a way, good way of avoiding stuff like catastrophic blow and stuff like that. Um, there's there's a you know, there's, there's cards out there that deal damage. Granted, some of the newer cards don't deal damage because they're trying to bypass effects like this, for example. Um, but for the cards that do still deal damage, this card is useful. Something to consider. Then we, and that's a, a that's a green negate, right? We have Super Seventeen Power Distilled. This is an older card. This card, as well as this Frieza Dark Infestation, has the ability where when they leave the field, you can grab a a, a, a one cost green extra card. Um, obviously. You know, uh, Thorin Potential Unleashed will be a good target, uh, damage negation, or any other, uh, you know, extra, extra card negate will be worth grabbing um, with the, these effects. So the ability to reuse your negates is good, especially if it's uh, Thorin Potential Unleash. Because we used to have Roshi, and that was one way of reusing our, Ro uh, our uh, Thorin Potential Unleashes. So here's another way. So there's two cards that have the potential to do that. You can obviously go check out these cards. I just want to go through most of them real quick. Um, Free, uh, Frieza's Dark Infest Infestation, you know, is a 15k double strike with the active main. Place this card into the drop area. She's up, up to one of one, one of your opponent's cards in hand and discard it. So the fact you get to choose, if you're really good at choosing, you could probably hit a negate or something, right? Uh, a baby hatch yak or something like that, right? You can hit something. You're really good at um, choosing 
So I, I like the, the hand control cards that let you choose as opposed to the ones where your, your opponent chooses. Because obviously they're always going to choose the shittiest card in their hand. But if you choose, you have a better chance of choosing their best card in their hand. Like an Android 17 turn tires or something. Right? The Topo Hatchet. Something you don't want them to have, right? So, this right alone is a good card, right? It's 15k by granted, it's a 4 drop. You might see that as a oh, 4 drop, 15k, but it's, you know, it's double strike and it has that effect. It has an auto that will return, I mean, an auto, uh, if your opponent has 3 or more energy, when this card is removed from your battle area, yeah, that's where it goes. Uh, if, if it's removed from the battle area by skill or KO'd, which is nice, so if it dies by battle or something, right? For a card effect, you get to add the extra card, which is very useful. Um, but because it's the Freeza Zeno, you can bring it out um, through the effect of Majin Buu, uh, the Shadow of Court, if this just so happens to be on the, you know, on the top five cards of your deck. Because when you play this card, uh, once per turn, when this card is played, look at the top five cards of your deck. I mean, top seven cards of your deck. And then choose up to, and then it does start probably, but we ignore that part. We just go to, you can also choose up to one non black battle card with an energy that has Zeno in its character name and nine costs or less. So, obviously, we can use this to grab uh, Lord Slug Zeno. So, that, there's a target for that effect. And then Frieza Dark Infestation, another target. So, you can play these two plus this Majibu Zeno. Have those three in your deck, and that right there, you know, is a Zeno package, right? A nice little green package where you can play this, and this can get you either this one, uh, you know, Frieza, or get you Lord Slug. And they have some effects, right? Lord Slug is a 25k triple strike, so the fact that you can pretty much uh, for four energy bring out a 25k triple strike is pretty nice. On top of the fact that this is a uh, you know, 20k body, so. Potential three damage right there alone has the permanent that while this card is in rest mode, your opponent can't attack leader cards or unison cards, so it protects your leader in unison, which is always good. And then, um, auto when this card is removed from your battle area by your opponent's skill, play up to one uh, green Lord Slug card with an energy cost of three um, from your drop area, then add up to one, you know, Dragon Ball, Dark Dragon Ball. That part is relevant. But it's the fact that if you if you know if you have a three drop or slug that you can add to the package, then that's just some more synergy. Especially if the three drop or slug is like a blocker or something, then that comes in handy, right? Because you can defend yourself with it. So it has some effects, right? But the fact that it's uh, essentially a deadly uh, deadly defender, the fact that you can make it hard for your opponent to attack your leader, right? You know, so that way you can swing. A triple strike and not uh, and have some type of defense for the clap back, right? And then, of course, you can play your negates and stuff like that, your, your dormant potential leash and stuff like that. So, these are some decent cards to look into. We got some newer cards, right? We got some hit cards that you can use. This one is a 20k dual attack with barrier it, for two. Uh, See, double checking because if I'm right, yeah, yeah, it's a combo with KO or something to use this. But it's the fact that it's a 20k double strike, I mean, double, dual attack with barriers, so it has the potential to bypass a negate and then has the auto limit one. If this card is in rest mode when your opponent attacks, you may they may choose to crush from the hand and discard them, right? If they don't do that, negate the attack and then. Uh, your opponent can't attack for the turn. So either your opponent rips two cards from their hand, which is two cards less for them trying to you know, uh, combo their hand into their you know final attack or whatnot. Right? Which hopefully helps you make increases your chances of being able to out-combo their attack, right? Um, or they don't pitch the two cards, right? and then they can't attack for the rest of the turn. So, it's up to them what they want to do. Or, more often than not, they might try, they might pitch two cards just because they want to be able to attack for the rest of the turn. But those two less cards, you know, can make a difference, right? Can be the difference between winning and losing for you, right? 
So it's better to have that effect and not need it than to need it and not have it, right? Just point out that it has, it's, it's a good card. Consider it. Hit uh, to battle universe 7. It has double strike and barriers, 20k. Auto, when this card is played, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So it replaces itself by drawing a card, right? And it KOs one of your opponent's battle cards. So it helps clear your board. So that's one less threat you gotta worry about. And it's a 20k barrier double strike. So you don't have to worry about any uh, you know, battle tricks trying to get rid of it because that's better. And, you know, of course, that always helps make the game harder for your opponent, easier for you. And, you know, 20k double strike, right? You can try to use it as a finisher. And then it has the active main paid to green energy. If your leader card is Champa, and the, and the Champa leader doesn't have to be green, so you can use the red or black or green or yellow or blue. Champa leader, for example, right? But you need two green energies to, to do this. Um, if you have three or more energy and no battle cards in play, you can play this card for two energy. So you could cheat it out for two green energy if you have a Champa leader. So might make more green Champa leaders in the near future, for example, right? Or just some, or you know, maybe uh, maybe they make a blue green chompa leader, right? So then you have a blue green build, be able to check this in. So there's some options. These cards might not be super perfect in some people's eyes, but they are good. They have some use. It's just a matter of actually trying them out and use them. Kai King Goku, he's 20k double strike. He has the whole combo thing. Battle card has to be KO during battle in order for you to play this uh, for one green energy by, you know, if this is in your combo, right? But his uh, second auto is when this card attacks, choose up to one of these, choose one of these abilities. So choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. That's useful. And of course, that can trigger the, uh, the effects of other uh, cards in hand. This also can trigger. It. So if you play this and swing with it, and activate that that, that that first effect of the auto that would trigger the extra copy in your hand. So then you can do the whole, you know, com um, you know combo energy thing. So you could play an extra uh, Goku um, just by using a Goku. So they have synergy with each other. They don't have unique. So you can't have more than one copy of Goku in play. So there's that. Plus, this Goku can help you trigger you know, the effect of this, for example, and you get the idea. So there's some synergy there that you can consider. Um, second auto that it has is your opponent chooses one card in their hand and discards it. Sucks that your opponent gets to choose, but, hey, them discarding a card in their hand just, you know, benefits you, right? Especially if you swing with this um, afterwards and then use uh, Android's uh, 18's Biotic Blitz. And knock out a couple more cards from their hands, you know, greatly increasing your chances of getting your attacks to go. Um, for example, if you use Vegito Unison and rip three cards from your opponent's hand, play this, rip another card from their hand, so four cards out there, swing, then do, uh, you know, Android 18 Super Combo, and rip another card out your opponent's hand, you know what I mean? Then that's five cards you just ripped out your opponent's hand. That increases your chances of your attack going through, and it is a 20k double strike. So some stuff to look into, consider. Uh, this is an old card, but I like the the fact that it has the potential for uh, successor plays. You know, it can help you facilitate successor plays um, because of the fact that for one green energy, you can play this as soon as turn one, and then you send this to the warp, and then at the end of your opponent's turn. This will get played to the field. You can take, was it two specifically or up to two? This card is played, yeah, choose up to two cards from your life and then add it to your hand. So you could take two life to help yourself awaken. So it has the potential to help yourself awaken. Or you could just play, play for one, right? Warp it. Next turn, I mean, at the end of your bonus turn, play it for free. Don't take no life, right? And then you have a free, not free, but you have a, a three drop that you can use for a successful play, or you can use this for, um, is that, uh, Zamasu, the Divine, whatever, Divinity, um, Wrath of Divinity, or something like that, the, the, the 25, I think it's 25, or 24, um, Indestructible, where 
Battle card when it attacks your opponent discards a card, right? That's popular in hand control. Uh, but the fact that, like I said, you can use this um, to help you get a body on board. Um, the fact that he's um, he's going on childhood, that could be relevant. You might need it as an evolved target. So there's that. So being able to use it uh, such as Cesar. Because imagine doing this turn one, right? And then this only be played in turn three, but you can play something else on turn two and then turn three combo and play this out. And then you'll, you could have potentially uh, nine, uh, nine, nine, nine drop, not nine drops. You have, you'll have nine costs worth of battle cards in your battle area that you can use for a nine drop successor play, right? And try to think right here, right here is nine, nine, that's right. That's a double check, but he's either nine or six. There's a super 17 that uh, health, hellfire, something, uh, hellfire storm, something like that, where it can cause your opponent to send cards from their life to the drop until they have four life left. So that could be a, a good way of getting your opponent down to four life, right? And not give them any card advantage right in the process. So, a couple of tricks out there you can consider doing. So, uh, already mentioned those. Uh, King Cole, you know, it's the green topo, generic green topo. As long as you can afford uh, the one green energy, obviously you can play this in any deck. There's there's a Majin Buu two drop uh, version of this, but uh, your leader has to be green. So that's the difference. This is more of a little generic, so this is more special, which is why I'm showing that one. And, um, it's Goku, 25k, double strike, you know, that's always good. You can definitely use it, try to use it as a finisher. Permanent, this card cannot be removed from the battle area by skill, so it's always useful. So it'll be safe from cards that tries to KO it, like Charismatic and Freeza and stuff like that, right? Um, First auto doesn't matter, but the second auto, when this card is played, choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and the KO. So, this is a really good generic uh, green war wipe. It is uh, specified 5 green, so it's very, very green heavy. Uh, but a 5 drop war wipe. Granted, there's a 4 drop, um, what is it called? Uh, unison. So, uh, obviously, that would be. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be some people's go-to when it comes to ignoring barrier board wipe. But this is another one you could consider. So having more cards that can board wipe and can be used to, you know, deal damage. Or used as a finish is always good. So always consider this card whenever I play. You could cheat it out for four energy if you use the hope for the future or something like that. It's a green extra card that lets you play a five cost or less green battle card from the drop, so could try to cheat it out that way with this. And, and, and there's tons of other green cards. These are just the ones that I'm just like looking at recently, so um, just want to show them. It's like, yes, there are good green cards. You just gotta look, right? Try to find some spice, some stuff you can play with. Hopefully this gave some people some ideas and showcased some some spices some people might consider using. Some good stuff in here. I like this because of the fact that you play and then you could get a free body on board uh, if you have enough uh, Zeno cards in your deck. And we do have a Frieza and we do have a Lord Slug. And they're pretty decent in what they do. So having them as a package in a, in a green deck is pretty nice. And that's the end of the video.